Hi everybody, today we're going to be doing some yoga. And the first and most important thing about yoga is breathing. I know we all basically don't need to think to breathe. It's something that we just do. But helping our breath in and out of our body in a certain way helps to bring calm to us. So we're going to learn a way to breathe called balloon breathing. A balloon breath, can you see that? Makes your belly expand and contract. Expand means get bigger and contract means go smaller. So it's bigger and then smaller. Like a balloon being filled up in your belly. In order to demonstrate that, I'm going to use my Hoberman's ball. Are you ready? We're going to remember that we always breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. If you're congested and you can't breathe in through your nose, that's okay, then use your mouth. But we should try to use our nose in and breath out mouth. Here we go. Nice deep breaths. You can also use your hands to feel your breath. Are you ready? How do you feel after you breathe? Do you feel a little calmer? I know I do. When you're feeling anxious or nervous, it's good to take a few deep breaths. Different things can make us nervous. If you see a bee and it's coming close to you, you might feel anxious and nervous. Take a deep breath and breathe it out and move away from the bee. But it's important to get your body calm so you don't run and the bee doesn't chase you. What happens if you don't like talking in front of people? Some people don't like to talk in front of others. So you take a deep breath before you have to speak and it will help to calm you. Sometimes in the classroom when it gets very busy and very noisy, I get nervous and anxious. I take a deep breath to help calm me down. Because even when the world is very noisy around us, we can help to calm ourselves on the inside by taking a deep breath and calming ourselves down. Have you ever been around two people fighting and arguing? I have, over toys or over what's gonna be cooked for dinner. Sometimes people fight and argue, you never know. But when people are arguing and it's making you nervous or making you stressed, take a deep breath. Or if you're thinking that you're going to the doctors and you're not sure if you're getting a shot and it's making you nervous or anxious. Three deep breaths are my magic number. I love to take three deep breaths and relax. So that's one kind of breath. There's another kind of breath that's kind of fun. This is called the bumblebee breath. Now, you're going to sit tall and straight, or you're going to be standing tall and straight, and you're going to take in a deep breath through your nose, and then you're going to hum the breath out. Okay, you ready? Listen to this. I'm going to get closer so you really hear it. Mm. You can feel the vibration. Do it again. Mm -hmm. That will help to calm you and ground you. Another thing you can do, you can, I'm going to take out my earbuds. You can cover your ears and it'll be a different sound. Are you ready? Breathe in. Mm -hmm.
it's a different sensation. It feels different when you have your ears covered. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Which one did you like better? Ears uncovered or ears covered? Those are two different kinds of breaths for you to practice. They will help to ground you and to calm you. Practice them.